Cystic fibrosis is a recessive genetic disorder. A person gets cystic fibrosis when he or she inherits two copies of mutated gene from their parents. Characteristics of cystic fibrosis are lung infections to the digestive difficulties, to the salty skin. Symptoms of cystic fibrosis are Persistent diarrhea, smelly and greasy stool, frequent pneumonia, chronic coughing, salty skin or poor growth. All characteristics of cystic fibrosis arise from a mutation in a single gene on chromosome 7. This gene contains instructions for building a protein called the cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator or CFTR. When there is no mutation in the gene, the instructions produce a CFTR that sits in the membrane of certain cells and controls the passage of chloride ions in and out of the cell. When gene is mutated, the faulty instructions produce a CFTR that does not work and chloride ions cannot pass through the membrane. In some cases, CFTR does not work because it won't open. In the most cases, CFTR remains complete missing from membrane. A very small change in the CFTR gene causes this change in the membrane. Three letter of code are missing in genes total 6100 code, which had the instruction for putting the amino acid phenylalanine in the position 508 and CFTR. Thus, the name of this mutation is Delta F508. A shortened CFTR is made, but the cell's quality control system sees this as an error, flags the protein for destruction. A missing CFDR has many different effects on the body. In the sweat glands, the missing protein causes the production of saltier sweat. Sweat production begins in the tangled end of gland where cells secrete water into the gland duct. As sweat rises towards the skin, the cells lining the upper duct reabsorbs sodium and chloride ions. When CFTR is missing, chloride ions are not reabsorbed. The loss of CFDR also stops the reabsorption of sodium ions, and the sweat that leaves the body is five times saltier than normal. The loss of so much salt alters the balance of ions in the blood and can lead to abnormal heart rhythms. CFDR also shuttles chloride ions in the other organs, including the pancreas, where it ultimately prevents digestive enzymes from reaching the intestine. The chloride pumping actions of the CFTR causes water to follow the chloride into the duct, where the watery slurry flows out of the duct and into the intestine carrying the enzymes. When CFTR is missing, so there is no slurry to carry the enzymes away, so the enzymes begin to digest the pancreas itself, this leads to inflammation. The organ that suffers most from the missing CFTR is lung. It is not exactly clear how the absence of CFDR leads to lung damage. Mucus in the lung become very thick. The lung becomes prone to bacterial infection because this mucus can support bacterial growth. 